It's, if you don't take care of yourself, you're gonna not be here. A lot of companies treat employees as just like a number, but if you treat an employee like a person, like you would treat yourself, then you can see the value of investing in somebody's well-being. Um, so, yeah, I think that's great. I mean, we definitely promote a lot of great uh, things here at Avis as far as taking care of yourself. We've got a, we've got a gym that everybody, most everybody uses. But uh, it, it's always available, you know, around the clock. You can come use it anytime you want. Uh, taking care of your physical self, definitely a priority here, you know, for everybody at Avis. And, you know, taking, taking care of yourself mentally. I mean, we, we have, like I said, those, those events that we have that where we get to decompress and we got to we get to hang out with each other. You know, there's, those things help to take care of us as a family and as, you know, as individuals with personal needs um, outside of getting the job done every day, you know, getting to know each other and feeling a connection that's, that's different than just a work connection, um, I think that helps to keep everybody you know, feeling better about themselves, their work, and everything we do here. That always makes me think about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So Maslow's hierarchy of needs basically is if you don't meet your basic needs of food, water, shelter, you're never going to want a relationship. You're not going to worry about a relationship because right now you're worried about food, right? So the next level will be relationships and eventually it goes up through self-actualization. So if you don't mentally and physically take care of yourself, you can't ever progress past that. You can't get to, well, how do I build a business? How do I, how do I grow in this area. So it's vital towards um, being able to progress uh, in a work environment or whatever passions that you have. You're more passionate when you're doing everything right. So if you're overworking and not getting enough sleep, it's going to be hard to be a passionate, driven person the next day. We try very hard not to overload people, but it's sometimes it's unavoidable our ability to then set realistic timelines of how fast we can turn questions around um, and then how much we're, we're asking from our consulting team as well as development um, comes back to that idea that we know a passion is it's just like gas. You can burn through it and then you're completely out of it. Um, so we always want to kind of keep the passion tank full and maybe slow down on the speed of answering questions. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to, you know, work hard, play hard, you know, all of that. I think we have to unwind. We need to take care of ourselves. We need to have, you know, because if we don't, then we can't, we can't perform, we can't deliver. So I think by letting yourself um, fall apart in ways, or maybe stress at home, or stress at work, or your health, or things like that, or being overloaded, I think all those things have, unfortunately, a detrimental effect. Maybe you can sustain it for a little while, but it's not long-term sustainable. Um, and I think it begins to eat at an individual on a personal, spiritual, and you know, physical level. So, um, I think that that looking out for yourself and taking care of yourself is a very important part of your life that a lot of people uh, kind of forget. But I think that there's a healthy balance to it because you can't only look after yourself. You got to look after your family too. But you need to look after yourself some and, and treat yourself, you know, to from hard work and everything you deserve, a few good treats every now and then. So I, I think that that goes back to, it goes back to that work-life balance. If my number one goal is for my family to have what they want and need, to have a great life, and to have a roof over their shoulders and have nice things, so that they'll be happy because I love them. And my idea of making that happen is to work, to work really hard and try to do as good as I can so I can provide them with a good living. The issue is that if one side of that equation gets weighed down too much, you get into trouble because if I work so hard and so long that I shut myself off, from my family, I'm contradicting everything that I came for. And so I think that's a really important thing for, for everyone in the company to understand 
is that you've got to remember you got to remember to have fun. you got to remember to relax. We are, especially me as a manager, we're serious and we want to get shit done. But if we get to the point where all we care about is getting shit done, it's not going to be, we're not going to be, it's not worth anything. We don't have time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. We don't have time to relax. And so it's important to understand that we as individuals have to take care of ourselves, whether that's our health, our mentality, our mindset, our psychology, our family, our, our time away from work. We have to take care of that because if we lose that, the work is meaningless.